Hi everyone, I am back today with a new story, Focus Ninja. It is one of my favorites because I have three boys and we struggle sometimes with focus in our family. I think that it is a common um, issue, but focus is really important because it helps you um, obviously stay focused so that you can concentrate on your work or whatever goal that you have uh, set for yourself. Um, so it will help you not only in school, but in life, in sports, um, really anything. So if you learn these uh, tricks that Focus Ninja shares, I think that it would be really, really uh, great and it will serve you well in your life. So let's get started. Um, let me turn off this. I know that some of you have already gone back to school and some of you um, have not or are homeschooling or online schooling and maybe a few of you have not started school yet. But um, I think you will like this book um, and what Focus Ninja has to share. So let's get started. Focus Ninja by Mary Nin, pictures by Helena Stupar. make sure my screen is the brightest. This book belongs to So here he is in bed with his sister or brother um, and his mother with his little fidget spinner. Do you guys have a fidget spinner? All done, exclaimed Focus Ninja as he closed his book. Focus Ninja finished his math homework and read the two chapters his teacher assigned. He was able to maintain his focus while his siblings practiced their instruments and his mother baked banana bread. Whenever Focus Ninja had a task to do, or if he set his mind on accomplishing something, he had a remarkable way of staying focused until it was complete. Focus Ninja could maintain his concentration in all sorts of situations. So can you guys do that? Like maybe do homework, do, do uh, math while your siblings are making a bunch of noise in the background? Unbelievable focus. During school, when his teacher was talking, he uh, sat in the front so he could listen intently and take notes. So do you, if you go to school, do you sit in the front or the back? At school and at home, Focus Ninja liked to keep his desk and room tidy so he could focus and easily find things when he needed them. And when he had a big job to complete, he split the assignment into bite-sized tasks so he wouldn't feel overwhelmed. So this happens to me quite a bit. Um, I'll have a big, really big job to do, like uh, clean my closet, and I um, will have to break it down into segments, um, bite-sized or smaller uh, groups so I don't feel overwhelmed. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever uh, done that split your big job into smaller tasks. But here's Focus Ninja. His big task here is cleaning his room. Um, and so he's making his bed, he checks that off. And he, what he still has to do is clean his desk, pick up clothes and organize his toys. It's a lot. But Focus Ninja didn't always have this wonderful capacity to concentrate. Once upon a time, he could lose his attention quite easily. So he's in science class and uh, he's being distracted. He has, he's become distracted by a fly. When his mother asked, him to clean his room, he would often have trouble following directions. <clears throat> when listening during story time, he would fidget, talk, and get up.
And if he was pouring cereal into a bowl, he wouldn't be able to slow down enough to do it carefully without spilling it. Until one day, his friend, Confident Ninja, showed him how he could increase his focus. My mom says we're supposed to work on our focus. I don't even know what she's talking about or how to improve my focus. I know how. How? Teach me, please. I use a strategy in the focus method. You can use any or all of these tools. Find distractions and eliminate them. Organize, choose greens and healthy foods. Use exercise to give your brain a boost. And finally, split up large assignments into smaller tasks. So here he is, he's finding distractions and eliminating them. So what are your distractions? Um, for Confident Ninja, it is his phone or tablet, I'm sorry. And then um, he's organizing, and that may mean making your bed. And he's choose green and healthy foods. Use exercise to give your brain a boost. Split up large assignments into smaller tasks. Thanks, I'll try it. So here he is, he's showing you how to split up a, a big assignment like read chapter two, whole chapter. Um, and maybe split the pages up on Monday and split some more pages up on Tuesday. When Focus Ninja went to school the next day, he made different choices and it made all the difference. Find distractions and eliminate them. He found out that other kids talking distracted him. So he chose to sit in the front, even though he was shy. Organize. He never before thought about tidying his desk, but today was different. Today was the day it all changed. He organized his desk. Very first time he organized his desk. It's the first time for everything. Choose to eat greens and healthy foods. At lunch, he chose to eat a healthy lunch with vegetables. Use exercise to give your brain a boost. And then at recess, he used exercise to give his brain a boost. Split up large assignments into smaller tasks. When he got home to work on his homework, he split up the big assignment into smaller tasks. Focus Ninja was able to focus more than just that one day. He continued to use these strategies found in the focus method every day in his life. Soon he was known as the most focused ninja of all. Remembering the focus method could be your secret weapon against a lack of focus. Check out our Ninja Life Journal on Amazon or visit us at growgrit.co. And there's all the ninjas in the back. Thank you for joining me for another story time with the author, Focus Ninja. Okay, I would love to hear from you. Email me at marynin at gmail.com. Bye.